Hey Juan, uh, you noted the other day that you are still on a two-way contract. I saw some notes from a radio appearance you did. How present is that for you about just kind of still having to prove yourself? Um, well, personally, I, you know, I always want to prove myself just because, like you said, I'm on two-way and I'm not on a guaranteed contract. But uh, the good thing is no, nobody in the organization that makes me feel like I'm on two-way. Uh, like I always say, it. there's being on a team and then there's being a part of a team, being a right. part of a culture, um, having a voice and a personality on the team, being someone that people kind of, you know, uh, I don't know what word to use, but, you know, you just feel feel to, there's a togetherness. And so mm -hmm. um, nobody ever makes me feel like I'm on two way. Nobody ever mentions that. And so in a day to day uh, approach, I don't really think about it. But, you know, in regards to thinking about my future, I do want to, you know, uh, stick around in this league for some time to come. And so that's the next step for me is to get off two way and get on a real contract. Yeah, I didn't realize you were still on that until you mentioned it on the radio the other day. I was like, oh, right, right, because you don't See, think of, I, don't think of you that thing. way, right? right? That's a good thing. So and, yeah. and I, want, I want my play to prove that, you know. Um, and so when people look, say, like yourself, you know, that, that makes me feel good that, you know, you forget that I'm on two-way. So that means that I'm doing my job. Juan, well, kind of talking about that two-way, I mean, it sounds like, you know, it's not brought up with you guys very much. It's, it's, it's not brought up by the front office. It's not, is it a a conversation or is that something that your agent deals with more than you and you don't hear anything about it at all well yeah that's why you know i have an agent working for me so um i could consume myself with that over and over but those things are out of my control and um at the end of the day i don't really play this game for the money obviously yes that it is our job now and it is our you know a part of us to try and get as much money as we can out of this job but I don't play the game for the money. And so I just look at it as I'm still in the NBA. Uh, I still get to wake up and do what I love. And, you know, that's, that's gain enough for me, you know, whether it's monetary or whether it's just an emotional and, you know, happy gain, I get to wake up, I'm happy every day. And so uh, the money will take care of itself. Uh, all the logistics will take care of itself. My agent's handling that, you know, Bob's going to do what he feels is best for the Warriors. And so, all of that is above me and I just, I leave it alone.